This is Old World Antiques in LaGrange, Texas. Very big store. There you go, if you ever wanted a lion, they got one. Furniture here is amazing. Look at this piece. Of course, we have an RV, so that's not gonna happen. All of this outdoors, we'll go in there before we leave, but all this outdoors in the open is uh, like architectural salvage doors, windows. So we're definitely gonna go look at that. This place is massive. If you're looking for big furniture, they got it. Oh, this is cool. Maybe a feeder of some sort, or a planter, or... There's actually, oh, I see what they've done. There's one, two, three. These came off the side of a, of a house. I can't remember. There's a name for these things. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, wow. Antique coffee grinders. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> I like that. This is quite a bit more impressive than uh, your normal air quote antique air, uh, consignment style store. These may be consignments, I don't know, but the quality so far anyway is uh, quite impressive. Oh, I think there's an upstairs. This place is really big, y'all. There's a lot of them, whatever they are. Let's see if we can figure out what they are. Hang on, guys. Got to get the old glasses on. Uh, a wood bird cage. A wooden bird cage. Hundred dollars. That's not bad. It's pretty decorative. You can certainly. Uh, I don't think I put a bird in it. Pretty awesome. Oh, here's some more over here. Much larger style. Look at the size of this one. You can put a chicken in that thing. That's huge. All right, let's continue. There's a unique bathtub. It's like uh, sheet metal, wooden frame. And I suppose this is where you put your hot water. Not quite sure what's happening here with that. Uh, there's an upstairs to nowhere. It's like an office space. Ah, there's warehouses outside. Oh, more coffee grinders. These are the tabletop versions. Now these I've seen. So I'd like to visit these places, see things I've never seen. Which is kind of rare, because I think I've seen everything, but I've not seen this stuff. Quite impressive. There's another side. Before I go outside looking at the warehouses, we're going to go finish in here. So what I'm seeing mostly is some very large furniture. Oh my gosh. You're not going to get the scale of that. Um... How am I gonna show you the scale of this thing? Well, first off, I'm five foot eight. And it is a good four to five feet over my head. There's a good yeah. scale for you. And for length, you can barely see the other end of it. I use my feet here. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven to twelve feet wide. I wonder what it was for. <laughs> I guess it was a like a hardware store or something because everything all the drawers have these things on them so yeah display case hardware store think we can get that in the rv a whole wagon full of posters here now that's an old sign <laughs> Rambouli court. It must. Be, oh, okay. That's for uh, noodles. It looks maybe Italian. I'm probably wrong. Let me know. Exercise horse thing. Oh man, this is nice. I like that. Oh, look at this. I remember these. Used to have nuts and bolts in them. They've put some architectural stuff in these. Lighting. I remember these in the old hardware stores. You guys remember these? You spin them around, grab a handful of screws or nails. <sighs> Maybe I'm too old. I don't know. These fascinate me. Antique clock house. Okay, guys. So what we've got here is hundreds and hundreds of these. And here's a little history right here. So these appear to be French. These are clock movements, obviously. I wonder how somebody came across so many of the same thing. You never get these to work, they're rusted out, but uh, great for display. And here's some, uh, what are these called? I have to keep reading the tags, so I just don't know the name of things. What does that say? Iron and brass globe, it just says globe. It's kind of. Does it spin? Probably, I don't want to break it. I'll leave it alone. Master violin, concert master violin string something. Oh, there's violin strings inside? Is that what it is? This is a display for violin strings. Amazing. Very good quality here. Is this another room or is that where we were? Oh, that's the front. Okay. All right, I saw a sign back here. Oh, look at the bar. Hold on, we're not quite done. Check out the bar with the pirate, with the uh, old ships on it. Oh, I used to have a bunch of these. Seltzer bottles. There's a bunch more down there. Good sellers. I'd get up to, I get up to two or three hundred dollars for those if you get the right one. They're not asking that much for those. Here's a nice green one. They want 58. Alright, we're going outside. Hey guys, I'm not going to be able to show you the scale of this clock face, so Leslie's going to stand in front of it. That, how big that clock face is. Holy cow, put your arm out like that. That thing is massive. <laughs> wow. I've never seen anything like that. Alright, so we got uh, a lot of outdoor. We'll hit that in a minute. And uh, just some various warehouses here. A lot of architectural. A lot of mirrors. Oh, there's a lot of cabinets and things here. Get the idea from the prices I've shown you. This is a. Uh, Let's just say it's not cheap. 
but it's of a quality I haven't seen before. You know, I see a lot of antiques, but usually they're just dilapidated, falling apart. Someone's built a nice collection here of more quality things you could actually use. Trying to show you how big this warehouse is. Garage door and ceiling. And I think there's more than one. These are tabletops. Oh, I wonder how they got so many of them. It must have been from like an old restaurant or something. Well, check these out. So these would be... Um, I guess some uh, church pews or something. Maybe you'd have another row of them here. And this would be for the, the row behind you. And they're very tiny to sit in. But yeah, I mean, maybe church. Probably. Because this is too small for school. How much is this bench? 1663. What a weird number. 1663. So if you need a bench, they got three of them. You better get them, because they probably won't never have no more. Bunch of foxes down there. Tons of uh, signage. I know a lot of people like signage. Got porcelain, ceramic, some metal signs. Now, when you start to see something like this, so we saw one inside, I see three outside. I'm going to guess probably not so antique. table on top that's pretty unique <laughs> that is very unique all right everybody's gonna want to know how much is this table bicycle thing i'd say that's pretty reasonable 6.95 for what it is based on everything else we've seen in here this is a very nice old board i'm not sure what what the purpose of that was for but uh, maybe a chop, 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 chop. put the bicycle underneath Awesome. Let's keep going. Oh, there's so much more. All right. Quick shot. I'm getting tired of holding the camera. There's too much to see. Whoops. We got to go see this. I see a helicopter. Not that. That. <laughs> oh, man. Check it out, guys. Carnival ride helicopter. Oh. Well, this is the coolest thing I've seen. That's pretty awesome, man. <laughs> you just get that in? Oh, uh, we got it in about two weeks ago. Yeah? Yes, sir. That is in really good shape, too. 
fiberglass? We got it from uh, Holland. Oh, really? Wow. He said he, they got it from Holland. Looks like it's been kept indoors. Very nice. All right, guys, I'm going to try to show you this. They actually have an entire ceiling that piece behind this piece is a ceiling. You picture it up above. We've been in a lot of old homes across the country that have similar ceilings of like that. That's amazing that they got that down in one piece. That was probably quite the, quite the feat of engineering in itself. So obviously we're outdoors now and uh, just uh, just never ends here. This is a lot of iron work out here, metal, iron, eh, some pottery, a little bit of everything, I guess. Well, I gotta say, as many things that I've seen in my life are antiques and collectibles, I have a lot of stuff here I've not seen. And the reason is that a lot of this is not American. Um, they do a lot of import for some, of the, for some, not a lot. They do some import of materials here. So that's why I've never seen stuff like this. Fascinating. So that probably looks like a, like a Weber grill to you, right? Look how big it is. That's my hand. Yeah, that's my hand. There's the rest of it. This thing is massive, guys. Absolutely massive. They clearly like very large stuff here. <laughs> yeah, somebody's probably gonna say, what kind of bike was that you walked past? I don't know. The seat says Bianchi. That says something I can't even read, so I'll put it on the screen. Bianchi. Bianchi, let me try to get a, a cover of that. Good. Yeah, wooden rim. Oh, there you go. It's Bianchi. May not be the correct seat. Pika. Pika. So you guys figure it out. Sounds like a Italian or German or something. Couldn't tell you. I'm not into bikes. Well, unless they have a motor on them. Anyway, let's roll. Some more stuff over here. Gotta watch where you're walking. There's stuff all over the place. Let's see. Um, I think we'll cut through. All right, guys, this is like a pole barn, lean to pole barn kind of thing. Absolutely loaded. The American pickers would have a field day in here. Doors. Mostly doors. Some windows. Ooh, what a door. Wow. I can just imagine what this came off of. Hmm. Hmm. The beehive. Top on it. Stained glass one back here. Super nice. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at, the, look at the work on this door. Can you imagine opening your door like that? Grabbing it. Rawr! It almost looks Asian. Probably not. It almost does. So many doors. Trying to get a price. All right, so an old door like that looks like it's six hundred ninety-five dollars. Uh, it's they're wrapped together, so you get a set of doors for six ninety-five. That is not terrible if that's the door you need. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that's a very tall door. And there's quite a few of this similar style. So it wouldn't be hard to find a set of doors for your project, for your new home. Just have the builder frame it in for whatever size you're getting. 
Who's that guy? So a lot of glass doors over here. This is a short. So this is more like, um, I don't really know what I'm looking at, guys. It opens inward. This way. And it's not even over my head, so I'm not quite sure what's happening there. Yeah, so we're definitely in the mirrored glass door section over here. Looks like they've worked really hard to get pairs of everything, so um, they got them bundled together. Six, uh, seven hundred or so and up, about what I've seen so far. Depending on what you're looking for, some go way up. Two grand. Oh, look at this blue door, man. Twenty-one ninety-five. Arch on the top. That would be quite the entrance door to something. Yeah. Oh, look how they put the. Um, oh man, look how they built these in. This slider, you can see it. It's just pressed in and bent over on the back side. Wow, that is definitely an old way to do things. Three grand for that one, 33. That's it guys. All right, that's it. Old, old world antiques, spelled A-N-T-I-E-K-S. Uh, a lot of imports. Um, some really high quality stuff here. And we are in LaGrange, Texas. Yep, just like the ZZ Top song. We'll see you on the next video.